Bye. What's up, lifers? Welcome back. 30 to life. I just want to say real quick before I get started with this video, um, thank you always for supporting. I see a lot of your, your day ones in the comment section and everything that have been rocking with me since the beginning of this. I just want to tell y'all I appreciate y'all, man, and thank you for the love always. So this video right here, I want to go ahead and answer somebody's question that they have for me in um, the comment section on one of my videos. It was in uh, the video I put up called Trust the Process, Prison Lockdown 2020. So before I answer that question, let me tell y'all something, man. Those type of videos that I do and uh, where I'm trying to help you and things like that about, you know, what's going on right now and trying to just help you guys get through all of this, all of this shit. Those are my least viewed videos. They do not get put out there like, you know, my prison stories and things like that. So, you know, yeah, maybe a lot of people don't want to hear that shit, you know what I'm saying? But in all honesty, man, there's a lot that a lot of people that don't want you to hear that shit. All right. So if you ain't got a chance to go check out a lot of my videos that I put out there, you know, little things to help you during this bullshit that's going on, man, I, I would really suggest you, you all check it out for real because, you know, you're going to need it. You're going to need it. All right. So. And I'll explain to you why. <clears throat> so, yeah, this this comment, it was on the that video, Trust the Process. And the comment is by Rox P. And he says, I hear you, big dog. But what do you think is going to happen future wise? What is the government really doing at this time while they have the world inside their homes? I stand by you. Fear is not an option. I'm guided by love and faith. Family is everything. Thank you again, Ron. All right. Thank you, Rox P, for your comment and your questions. So I'm going to do the, do the best I can for you to answer this. Um, things like this, these types of topics are very difficult to speak on because y'all already know. You know what I mean? So I'll do my best to answer your questions, and I hope I don't fucking confuse y'all even more, all right? <clears throat> But before I go into that, let me tell y'all something, man. What I, I explain to you guys or what I, you know, speak about on these types of topics, it's just my opinion and my beliefs, okay? So I don't want to push it out there to you as facts or anything like that. I want y'all to go ahead and research anything that anybody says, including me, okay? Don't always take what motherfuckers on this platform tell you as truth okay and i know a lot of y'all don't i know y'all like to do your fact checking and things like that so please do please continue to do that you know what i mean because you just never know you know what i'm saying how any of this this is my experience so you know your experience will, might be totally different from mine okay so but I, but i want to help i want to make sure that i'm i'm helping you guys and and the best way i can okay so what do I think that's happening while they have everybody on lockdown? All right. Well, I, I have a feeling, Roxby, you know what's happening. You just want me to speak on it, maybe, right? <laughs> so, but if you don't, um, what I think is happening is this. Look, I don't think that... What I think is happening is is there's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes of what is being portrayed to you and in and, and, and the media and, and, you know, and all the fucking information that's being passed around from person to person out there. Uh, I can tell you this, that while we're locked down, there is something being put in place for our future. Okay. <laughs> And uh, basically what I believe it is, is that it's time to merge with the internet, you know, basically technology. It's that time. So what I believe to be happening is that the smart grid is being put in place now. And, uh... You know, what do I mean by that is just basically, you know, eventually 
you know, within the next 10 years, 15 years or so, maybe even sooner, you know, we're going to have, you know, of course we have some of them already, but we're going to have the smart grid where, you know, there's going to be a lot of, you know, driverless cars and um, a lot of companies, businesses are going to be ran by AI, by robots. Uh, I believe right now Amazon is about, their workforce is about 30% ran by AI robots. So, you know, a lot of that shit's going to be going down the way businesses have ran. So it's going to change. Um, I think that, uh, they're pretty much conditioning us right now, uh, with this whole lockdown thing, basically getting us used to, uh, social distancing and, um, staying at home more often because again, you know, a lot of companies are going to be ran by AI and things like that. So, you know, if you ain't up on that shit on technology or anything like that, it's going to be very hard for you to get, you know, those decent paying jobs. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's a, a total resets being, being done right now, you know, to our whole system. Uh, it, this, what's going on now is it's affecting a lot of things, right? Y'all know it's affecting the money. It's, uh, affecting the economy. It's, a uh, it's affecting, uh, medical, you know, um, it's affecting our way of socializing our lives. And so, you know, those are the things that I believe is being targeted and taken away from us. And, um. I just want you all to know this though, man, that it's not something that is new. You know, this had been coming for a long time. This has been planned forever. Um, you guys know already, I'm, I'm sure you heard the rumors or whatever. It's not a rumor, but um, I think it's John Grissom. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but one of those books, uh, I think it was John Grissom or whatever. He basically said what was going to happen, right? You know, he was talking about in that book about how, you know, the sickness was going to come from, you know, wooty woo, you know, and it's going to be this and that in 2020. And, you know, it's going to disappear and then reappear in 10 years. So, you know, how does a motherfucker get it so on point? You know what I mean? And uh, y'all know what time it is. <laughs> you just know it's, 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 it's been planned. So, um yeah, so that's what's happening right now. While we, we're locked down, we're being conditioned and we're getting used to the new program, uh, the new normal, whatever, which won't feel normal, but it will be the new normal, the new way of life, the new system. And, uh, you know, it's meant to happen. OK, so, yeah, that's what's going on behind the scenes, I believe. And um, so what to expect in the future. Well, I'll tell you right now, this whole quarantine thing, you know, it's affected a lot of people's mental. So a lot of people are, because they live in fear, they are going to basically quarantine themselves for the rest of their lives. And what I mean by that is, um, you know, they aren't going to want to fuck with nobody. They're going to stay home. They're not going to want to travel. They're not going to want to do anything because they're going to be scared of the fucking world. Right. And, uh, you know, it's sad that how easily people are conditioned through fear, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the, the new future is basically, you know, get used to social distancing um, because a lot of people aren't going to want to fuck with each other, you know what I'm saying? And, um, relationships, like good relationships are going to be hard to come by, of course, because no one's going to want to, you know, get close to somebody because they're scared they're going to catch something and, and die. So, you know, and it's actually going to be pretty much like law because we're going to get used to it. So what I mean by that is that, you know, all the businesses, when, when they open up, they're, they're going to have that in place. So, you know, when, as we start to come off this lockdown and by the way, which I believe isn't going to end until at least 2021 sometime, um, 
you know, we're going to be on this lockdown for a minute, y'all. Uh, what usually happens is, like, when I was in prison, whenever we go on a long lockdown, uh, they start modified program after that, mod modified lockdown. So, you know, when they start lifting the lockdown, it com we come out and it's critical workers, things like that, and the rest are still locked down. So there'll be a modified program when we come off of this. So basically, what I see the future for is this. Look, man, you know, if you go out to eat at a restaurant, you, you ain't going to be allowed to go into this restaurant unless you have been... You know, unless you have gotten your little whop and you are, you know what I mean? Like, bang, bang. <laughs> unless you get that and then you get your credentials, uh, you ain't going to be allowed in those restaurants. You ain't going to be allowed to go back to work until you get that and those credentials. Um, so, you know, that's if you don't do that, then you ain't going to be able to be a part of nothing in society. You ain't going to be able to go certain parks. You ain't going to be able to travel. You're going to be restricted from a lot of shit. And when you do get it, if you do get it, whatever, it's up to y'all, man. I don't care. You know what I mean? You do you. You do you. Um, but uh, when, you're allowed to, when you're allowed to go to these places because you got your credentials, it's going to be different. Because, you know, you remember those little max capacity signs that be in restaurants and shit like that? Well, that's going to change because they're not going to have, uh, you won't have a lot of people being able to eat in these restaurants. And, you know, you're going to have tables a lot further apart, you know, just social distancing will be the norm. And, um, you know, when schools open up, I think that, you know, they'll, they'll start doing early bird, late bird type programs. So basically, you know, students will be going to school in the morning and then till like 12 or something. And then after that, you know. The other half of class will come in in the afternoon. And so this is going to be all part of the social distancing thing and keeping everything more in control. Um, <clears throat> I expect to see a lot more new technology. Uh, temperature checks everywhere. You know, body scans. Um, yeah, like I said, new technology. Uh, AI. You know, and uh, that's how it's going to be. And it's just going to be basically you won't have the same rights you used to have, you know. And uh, so but I just want you to know that don't worry about this shit, man. I mean it. I know I know you guys are going to be like, man, what the fuck you mean, Ron? Don't worry about this shit. Look, man, one thing that's for certain in the universe is change. You know, you can't stop that. And that's and this is all meant to happen. And I know it's hard for a lot of people to believe that, but this was written. OK, now. That's why I tell you guys to go back and watch those videos that that no one really watches, because um, it will prepare you for that. You know what I'm saying? It'll prepare you mentally and what to expect, you know. Uh, it's. Sometimes it's scary, but, you know, change is scary, like I said, but, you know, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to this because, you know, it depends on how you look at everything. You know, if you look at it as like, oh, man, you know, this is fucked up, you know, I feel like I'm locked up, you know what I mean, whatever, you know. Now, you know how we feel when we was in the pen, you know what I'm saying, but real shit, though, you know what I mean, um... It's how you look at it. If you want to let it beat you up and, and, and make you feel, you know, a certain type of way, like I said, those people are going to be living in, in, in fear for the rest of their lives and they're going to fucking quarantine themselves for the rest of their lives, then, you know, that's totally up to you. You know what I mean? But um, if you decide to take this as an opportunity to maybe create new businesses, you know, you got to think about what's going to happen with this whole thing, you know, um, delivery services are going to be more, be more, um, you're going to see a lot more of delivery services. You're going to see, you know, different types of, of business, you know, going on out there because we have to adapt. Right. So just think about shit like that, you know, and, um, uh, you know, regardless of anything you got, we all got to live here, right? Where are you going to go? You know? So, uh, yeah, be it. Be ready to expect that. 
And I, I expect a lot of, um, you know, on the downside of, it, of things, I expect a lot of people to, you know, have mental breakdowns and, and, and things like that. And that, that's just something that's going to come with all this because they can't, you know, they can't deal with what, you know, with the difference and the changes in, the, in, in society and this world that's happening. So, you know, that's why I always tell y'all, be strong mentally, work on yourself, figure out what you want to do for the future, work on your, you know, your own talents and things like that. Um, what else do I expect? I expect uh, relationships not to be the same. I think, um, like I said, AI will be into play. So, you know, you're not going to see a lot of people dating other humans, you know, we're going to have uh, people dating robots, real talk, you're going to be able to order yourself, you know, some girl of your dreams, you know what I mean? And, and that's how it's going to be. And it's going to, or, or, you know, you ladies are going to be able to order yourself, you know what I mean? You're tall, dark skinned handsome man or whatever with muscles or six pack. I don't know, but that's the way it's going to be because a lot of people ain't going to want to have relationships with other people. You know, again, we're being conditioned to stay away from each other and we're being conditioned to get used to being at home. Um, you know, with that, that whole thing with the check, right. With the money, uh, you know, that's going to be something that's going to be in the play too, because you know, you're going to be basically paid to stay home, you know, uh, it's like the new form of welfare and, um, you know, it's just another way to keep you locked in your house and not advancing in life and just, you know, being basically a drone, you know? So yeah, uh, new future, new future ahead. And, um, you know, this is going to take time, of course, in the next 10 years or so, but you're going to start seeing a lot of it. Like I said, you know, like we're going to see a lot of new things when we come off lockdown. Uh, body scans probably be in play. You know, how long can they stand around doing temperature checks with these these things that they want to do and, and, and put up? You know, eventually they'll just put up a system where, you know, you'll just be scanned. And um, we've already given up our whole lives pretty much to the Internet, you know, with all these apps. Um, Facebook is, is pretty much ran by AI. Um, Google ran by AI. So what do you think they do with all the information that you type in, the things you search, what you guys know, and you talk about certain things around your phone, you know, you know, you know, it suggests it to you, you know, you can go click the microphone on Google and, and ask, ask it a question. And, you know, what do you think goes and, and finds you the answer? So, you know, just like all that shit, TikTok, um, Instagram, everything, man. You've already given yourself your your face your facial recognition to to these apps, to these companies. I did it. We all done it. You know, it's just part of life now. We've already decided to integrate with the with 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 AI with the internet. Period. So yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna go on, man. And if you don't if you don't get your, your credentials and things like that, you're going to be left out, left behind. You ain't going to be able to go shopping certain places. You know, you're going to be very limited, you know, in what you can do and what you can't do. So, you know, expect that. Um, again, man, I just want to tell you all this, man. See, I really honestly don't want to talk about shit like this, but I you know, you asked the question and a lot of you have these questions. You asked me a couple of times in the live and things like that. And I did, like I said, I just want to help you guys, you know what I'm saying? And when we speak about this shit, I don't want you to be living in fear. And it's very important that you don't. Okay. That right there is going, it's going to make you do certain things that you shouldn't be doing. Okay. You need to keep yourself in love vibration. All right. Like I said, now people are awakening. This is a great awakening. You know, you got one side that seems like it's doom and gloom. It really isn't, but it seems like it, it does because it's changed. Right. But then the, on the other side, you, you have mass people waking up. Their third eye is activated. You know, they're 
asking questions. They want to know, you know, what the hell is really going on. They, they, they're questioning their own life. They're going within for answers too. You know, people are realizing that nothing outside of them is going to really truly help them. You know, none, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Everything is within you. So that's what I'm trying to explain to y'all in these other videos. You need to stay in that type of vibration when this, all this shit is going on. Because, like I said, there's going to be people who will self-quarantine for the rest of their lives. Mass will be the new thing. You're going to see a lot of people walking around with masks all the time. Even when they say, okay, we good. They ain't going to be good. You see what I'm saying? They mental's all fucked up because they stuck in that fear. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's going to fuck people up. And um, especially just being the way we are now, having to stay in our homes. Not everyone's going to be able to fucking make it through this. And it's sad. It, it really is because... You know, I guess I've been, you know, went through training already, I guess, you know, so, but this right here, man, is, is going to be a test of your mental, you know, your physical being, your spiritual being. And like I said, man, people are waking up, they're going more spiritual, they're digging deep within themselves. Those are people that are going to be able to make it through this, you know, strong. So don't let shit fuck with you, man. You know what I mean? The universe is always in constant change. So, you know, I'm not saying that you got to accept everything, but I'm saying that you got to understand that, you know, there's a bigger plan than all of us. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I expect for the future. That's what I think that's going on, you know what I mean, without having to get into too much, you know what I mean? Y'all know what time it is. You can fucking dig into your own shit and, and go fact check your, you know, a lot of these things. But don't let that shit fuck with your head, all right? I mean that shit, y'all. I'm serious about that. Don't let that shit fuck with you, okay? It is what it is, all right? All right. So, uh, that's all I have for y'all. And um, hopefully, uh, this video reaches most of you. <laughs> but, um... Until next time, man, you know what it is. Stay the fuck out of trouble.